Nigeria's Information and Culture Minister Lai Mohammed has commended Nigeria as leading business mogul Aliko Dangote for playing a major role in actualizing Nigeria's industrial revolution. The minister stated this during a site assessment tour of the Dangote Petroleum Refinery and Fertilizer Plant in Ibejo, Leki area of Lagos State. Mr. Mohammed says this uh, achievement will surely help to conserve energy and ensure food security in the country. TJ Suadeoye tells us more. An on-site visit to the Dangote Industries Free Zone at Ibeju Leki, Lagos, Nigeria. The Minister of Information and Culture, accompanied by a group of journalists, were taken on a four-hour tour around the sprouting complex of the petroleum refinery and fertilizer plant. This facility is five times the size of Victoria Island and it's Africa's largest refinery and the second largest in the world. The newly inaugurated fertilizer plant, which is Africa's leading producer of granulated urea fertilizer, sits on over 500 hectares of land and was built at a cost of $2.5 billion. The Dangote Petroleum Refinery, which is also located at the Free Trade Zone area, covers about 2,600 hectares of land and has cost over $15 billion and still counting. <laughs> the project is estimated to be completed in the fourth quarter of the year and is expected to produce 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day, which surpasses the country's current daily production rate. The refinery has its own dedicated steam and power generation system of 435 megawatts to power the plant and also give electricity to host communities. The refinery also has housing units fully equipped to serve over 33,000 workers. The minister is impressed with this development and says it will be a huge value addition to Nigeria's economy and conserve its foreign exchange earnings. We must not uh, fail to appreciate the fact that it's not just that will be self-sufficient in terms of, you know, there will be food security, there will also be, you know, energy security. But the quality of our oil, I mean, of our refined product, and the quality of our uh, fertilizer will be world class. The executive director of Capital Projects also allayed the fears of Nigerians and gave strong assurances that profits made from the project will be reinvested in Nigeria's economy. It's a win-win situation for everybody. For the government, as you know, the U.S. was the number one consumer of Nigerian crude. All of us know. The biggest customer of Nigerian crude was U.S. Now it is completely gone. So here, you have, the, for the country, you have your home base customer ready to take almost one third of your production. TJ Swadio, TBC News. Lagos.